Hi everyone, I'm Jesse Leonard here once again, and this is just going to be a review and test video of this Magnavox TV, VCR, and DVD combo that I have right here. Um, I will put the the model of this TV in the video title at a later at a later point because I I'll have to pull it out to give you the model number. I'll put it in the video title title later on. So as you see right now, I have it on auxiliary. Because I don't want anything getting copyright claimed or anything that's on the showing on the TV. You'll notice two things. There's speakers and there's a cable box in the middle. Well, this TV does have the analog channels that you can change. But however, our TV provider is no longer analog. Right down there is the stereo. And you see that auxiliary the audio hooked up to it for optional purposes. This was bought. Uh, this was bought at a garage sale, I believe, a few years ago. A few years ago, and I just want to show you real quick. I'll just put it off of auxiliary. As you see, the DVD does work. There is no disc in it, as you can see at the top right corner of the TV. I'll just put it to here. I'll just show it for a couple seconds. But this is I just have it on ABC Nightline. It's going through the cable box because, again, our TV provider is no longer analog. It's all digital. So I'll just put it back to auxiliary. It does. I'll just give you a quick look at it from the bottom. Um, let me actually, I'll tell you what. Let me actually, it's this tablet's on my tripod. Let me take this off my tripod here and I'll give you a better shot. Alrighty, so this is... A quick look at the controls on the TV there's your power on I know I apologize it's out of focus I'm in the garage so oops so there's your standby your power button volume your play pause re fast forward and rewind next previous stop that's for the DVD side the only problem that it has the source buttons a little wonky on here it does need some contact cleaner this is source like if I press it See how it, it's thinking sometimes that I press channel down. Yeah, you saw that. Or maybe it's not acting up. Let's see. Maybe it wasn't. Okay. I thought the buttons were acting up there. I guess they weren't. So, channels right there. Should play, stop, fast forward, rewind for the VHS player. It's got an indicator. It does actually have the original remote if you're asking. It does work. I'll just turn that on for now. And the remote does work. All the buttons on here work. And select right here is just the source. DVD. But I'm going to put it back to aux like I said so nothing will be copyrighted. The remote works. All right, for testing purposes, we're going to go to, the only thing that this remote does not have is an e-check button. There is no e-check on this remote, so you'll have to e-check it by hitting the button over there. Now, for testing purposes, I'm going to start off with the a DVD here. I see I got a blank VHS. It says empty, but I remember I recorded something on it. But before I put pop the DVD in, let me get... Yeah, I'll hook back up to my tripod. Alrighty. Now, we're going to start off by testing out a movie. I'm only going to play it for a couple seconds because, you know, copyrights. So I'm going to pop this in real quick. And only play it for a couple seconds just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to immediately eject it. Let's see how it does. But like I said, there is no eject button on the remote, so you have to eject it from the see it detects that it's a DVD. And apparently I didn't Apparently I didn't have the volume up, but it works. That'll be good enough. I'll just eject it right there. Now I don't have the I don't have the audio going output on my TV to the stereo only it's going output from the cable box so I have to have the TV, the TV volume on if I were playing a movie 
or VHS. Okay, so you, you saw that work. I'm not going to play it too long. We'll go back to Ox here. Um, let's try a VHS now. Now, I think this v v VHS player was not working last time, but we'll give it a shot and see how it does. Again, there is, there is, it's, this tape does say, um, there you go, it says empty, but I did record something on it, I remember. Let's see how it does. Oh, yeah. I think it's, the VHS player must not be working, because you saw, I don't know if you just saw that, but he immediately ejected. Let me try it again. There it goes. Now, let's see what happens when I press play. Oh, wow, it actually does work. I'll be darned. This was just some NASCAR 07 footage that I tried to record from my PlayStation 2. I'll be darned. It works. I thought it didn't used to. But this is some footage I recorded. But then the game was not 100%. My disc on it was scratched. Oh, and, and of course, I, might, I should have put it back to, to see how I paused there because I was trying to put the transmission back to automatic. But this was just some footage. I couldn't control the game very well because, like I said, my the disc on the game was pretty much scratched up. You can see there. Again, this was... And the transmission wasn't set right. You can tell by that. So, you can see there... I, had a pod, I think I did pause there to go to do the default setup. So this game was not... I, did, I didn't do an actual race. I just did practice because that's what I grew up doing. And what was I doing here? I believe I was turning sensitivity down. Yes, I was. Or, no, I was putting it back to manual. Huh. Wait. But I didn't record it long. But like I said, this disc was somewhat scratched, so. In this game, it wasn't play, it wasn't 100%. Yeah, you see, as you see there. But I'm going to keep playing this until it, because it, I, I, I'd only, I didn't record it very long. Yeah, I tried to turn the sensitivity down because it got too sensitive. Just like I said, again, this is just some NASCAR 07 footage. I grew up playing NASCAR, all, most of these NASCAR games from, 0, from 06 to 09. Then it then came 11, Inside Line, Unleash, Kart Racing, 14. And the recent NASCAR game I got was NASCAR Heat 3, which I got for Christmas. So it's 06, 07, 08, 09, 11, Inside Line, Unleashed, Kart Racing, and 14. Oh, God, you see there. Yeah, I, I, it's, it is all probably also because I have not played my PlayStation in a while, It's which is probably because. Yeah. Yeah. You, and there, and that's where I stopped it. Alrighty. I think it might have had a little problem rewinding. Let's see what it does. Oh God. Yeah.
Yeah, so it's not 100%. It won't rewind or fast forward. I'm not even going to take a chance on putting it back in there because I don't want it eating up the tape. So not only does it play, yeah. it won't, it's having trouble. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go rewind it. And there's the error code for you, eject T. How do you even... I'm, I got a question for y'all. How do you find these error codes, eject T? Because I'm going to tell y'all a little bit of a backstory. I had at my dad's trailer years ago. I had a TV and a D and a VCR combo in our bedroom. Lucy, I'm trying to make a video here, and you over here scratching and whining. So whenever I try to play a VHS, can you stop? Whenever I try to play a VHS in our player, it would not play. It would immediately shut the t TV off. So. And it would always say eject E, eject T, some, so on. So it plays. I want to see if it'll fa maybe fast forward. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't want to get It's not engaging. So like I said, it won't. It's not a, this VHS player is not working right. Nope, I don't think that's gonna work. Yep. So we got no fast forward neither, and it forces it to eject. You heard something. I heard something as it forced it to eject. Let's see what error it does this time. Same thing, eject T. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to have to rewind it myself later on. I do have another v VCR player that's in my bedroom closet. So the VCR player, it, the VHS player, it is not working right. You saw it force eject it. So this is a lot of, oh, this is a pretty much a common problem with these, with these things. They don't. They force eject it. It force ejects. So we got no no fast forward, no rewind. I didn't try to seek fast forward or seek rewind because it probably would have messed it up even worse. I'm not even gonna chance on popping it back in. I do not want this tape being eat up. But it will play. It just won't fat. We got no fast forward or rewind. That's a lot of common. That's pretty much a common problem with these with these things. Oh well, so now I'm gonna have to rewind it myself later on. Pull that, I have to pull the VCR player out my closet and just manually rewind, or not manually. I'm sorry, we want rewind it on that. And I had a, I was wondering the whole time if there was something, if there was something wrong with this TV, and it was the, and in fact, and I knew it was gonna be the the VHS player the whole time. It won't, like I said, it won't fast forward or rewind. Well, JK18, if you are watching up to this point, let me know what, what you think. Because, like I said, I, t I, I, I told y'all that backstory earlier in the video when I had a... This is... I had a pretty much this TV in my bedroom back in my dad's trailer years ago. Except the only thing difference about it, there was no... D it didn't have no DVD. It just had a TV, VCR. That was it. And every time I would try to play something in it, it would it would just shut off. And when I turn it back on, it ejects it. And at one time, and I kept putting it back in and out, in, and it kept doing the same thing multiple times, it ate up a tape. And I don't think I don't have no head I I don't have no head cleaner for it because my the head cleaner that we have, it's locked up when I tried it in a different VCR player. You know what I mean? So I think our VHS head cleaner is locked up. Cause it well we had it we had that thing for years now so. Oh well. My, so. But hey we don't need I mean, VHS tapes are obsolete nowadays as you probably knew that. But it's okay I I'll just have to manually rewind it. All right. Well, anyways, enough with that. Oops, I accidentally bumped that. So one more thing I want to do before I 
end off this video is I want to um, let me get down here and unplug these real quick. One more thing I want to do is show you that the auxiliary does work. Yep. And it has a right audio channel too. And visiting with folks all across Mississippi. You want better schools? I think it might need some contact cleaner. Because I had one point, at one point the video wasn't working. But I was just showing you that that does work. And if I can find my headphones real quick, I'll try to headphone Jeff Court real quick. Let me um, go find my headphones real quick. Alright, so that works as you just saw there. I'm going to try my headphones. But just a heads up, this is not a regular size headphone jack. The microphone on these Sony headphones does not work. So, so we will just put it back to, not DVD, um, and let's see if this works. Oh yeah, I hear sound. Here. I don't know, if, I don't know if you can hear that kind, but it does work. So headphone, the headphone port does work. It'll cut, it'll turn the TV speakers off as you have a headphone plugged up. Oh yeah, he done passed away from the cars. He done passed away. All right, let me turn the sound back off before it gets copyrighted. Put this back to aux. All right, everyone. Well, that's pretty much it for um, for this video. This has been a review and test of the Magnafox TV. Like I said, I will put the model number in the video title at a later point, later on, because I have to pull I have to pull that TV out. I gotta move the speakers. That's a darn horse fly that just flew in here. Gosh, darn it! I hate them things. Or is that a it's a horse fly, all right. Anyways, or is that a roach? No, I don't think the roaches wouldn't sound that loud. Anyways, oh, them horse flies get on my nerves. Yeah, still too hot to be sitting, to be sitting out here. I already got goosebumps from the horse fly. It's too hot to be sitting out here much. It's still hot and humid, even though it's a late night. Once once it cools off down once it cools down some I'm gonna come sit out here and watch TV more. You know it's a it's a it's a shame that that VHS player is not fully working. It'll play just we got no fast forward or rewind. Uh, and like I said, I did not try to seek fast forward or seek re rewind because it probably would have done the same thing anyway. So. But we hardly use the VHS player on here anyway. And it does have a little trouble sometimes that when you pop it in the first time, it'll immediately eject so it doesn't exactly engage like it should right away. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Horsefly. Um, well, I don't know what else to say here, but I think that's going to be it. I just have it on the auxiliary so nothing will get copyrighted. And I'll just have to manu I'll just have to pop this VHS player tape in a another player and just rewind it from there. So there you have it. Now one thing I did not mention, I wish that horse fly would go away. One thing I did not mention, there is no rear auxiliary, it's just front only. Oh, it does have something. What is that? Coraxel audio or something? It has an orange. What is that? Coraxel audio. Coraxel audio. How do you Coraxel audio? How do you pronounce that? Yeah, there's a Cox audio. That's the orange port that's behind on the other side, and and on the right on the other side is the the cable line input. You know what I mean? That goes for the channels. On the left rear, there's a Cox output, the orange. You know, you get what I mean. 
I think that horse fly is flying around that light garage light because I have that on. I'm going to shut that off here after this video. But you could probably hear them buzzing away. Ooh, it's a big one. Yeah, those things give me goosebumps. But like I said, I just go, I'll just go ahead and shut it off. I think I'm going to go ahead and shut everything off. I'm going to also show you some as I do shut it off. Let me turn the cable box off too. So usually, now I've got to turn both the power strips off. The stereo is already off, so I can, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to put all, and th I'm just going to put all three of the remotes. I know it can't go any, or maybe it can. I'm just going to put all three of the remotes in this drawer. I'll just leave the original remote in here, so that way, and the stereo remote. But I, but that, that, um, remote for our cable box, it is actually programmed to this TV. So, that's a good thing. Gosh, darn it. That yellow, that, that horse fly. I know, I know y'all can't see it because I'm not, it doesn't, I'm not another camera. But as I turn those power strips off, you'll see two of them because from that green one right there, it wouldn't reach. And the outlet is against that wall, against that wall somewhere. But watch what happens. I guess this is normal for these TVs. I'm not sure. Let me get y'all back in position just a second here. Get y'all back in. Watch the the sort the VCR DVD lights come on as I turn the power strips off. Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually the DVD and the record lights. I don't know if you just saw that, but I don't know why it makes those lights just briefly come on as it loses power I don't know if you saw it it might be too dark to see on camera but it was the DVD and the record lights light up god oh man <laughs> it was actually <laughs> he was stuck inside of that oh my lord you can see him coming he was actually that's one of her dogs yapping yeah, he was actually stuck inside that light. Oh my god. Okay. Well, everything is all turned off out here, including the stereo. Like I said, I do have another power strip run into it because it wouldn't reach to that one. So that's why there's two. I bet, I, I t I'm going to tell you what. You can see him right there. By the time I probably turn this light off, he'll probably be flying away. Alrighty, everyone. I think that's gonna be it for this video. Like I said, I will put the title, the model of this TV in the title at a later point. Won't be probably not right now because I gotta pull this out and locate it from back there. This was bought at a garage sale, like I said. DVD player works. The auxiliary works. Uh, the channel thing for it works. You, you get what I mean. But the VHS player somewhat works. Just got no rewind or fast forward. But I did not try to fa the seek fast forward or seek rewind because it, I didn't want it messing up the tape even more. So that I'm guessing that probably does not work. So yeah, the VH player, does, the, VH, the VCR player, you get what I mean, does need some work on to it. It does need some work. And everything is all shut off until next time, just to, just to conserve energy. You know what? I guess I'll show you. I guess I'll show you real quick. I'll power it back on, just the power strips back on real quick, and I'll show you momentarily. You saw. You probably saw that. Made the lights kind of dim there. As, as I was powering it back on this TV, it, it gets a big load as it restores power. It really does get a... I'm just powering on the power strips. You probably saw those lights came on again, the DVD and record lights. Uh, I don't think it didn't used to do that. Those DVD and record lights were not 
turn it on as it was restoring and losing power. But I'll just go ahead and power it back off here. Yeah, it's definitely the DVD and the recorded lights that are coming on as it as it loses power. Okay. Now, now there is another TV right that's right there that needs to be scrapped because a picture tube on it is shot. I don't know what they're barking at, but apologize for that. Let me call him back. Yeah, there we go. I had to call him back there. That's why I paused. There he is. Lucy's over there eating. Sometimes I got to separate them if they... Because he's the one that gets jealous and pushes her out the way to eat. So sometimes I got to separate them. But I, anyways, back to my original point. That TV right there is pretty much dead. I mean, you could still see the change of settings and whatnot but that but there is no picture tube whatsoever or you get what i mean it had a burning smell coming from the top probably because it's been sitting in here this whole time i wouldn't blame it that it wasn't working fully y'all saw that y'all saw y'all did see that tv on on my thumbnail on my pre previous video like i said the speakers they these are the speakers that did come with the stereo but like I said, the CD player on it is locked up, so I had to pull the wires, electric taped it, because some it broke. Yep. I was messing around with it, but then it was just making awful motor noises, just to, just making a, so it had something done broke as I was trying to oil it or whatever. Anyways, I think that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one.